Hey, what's up guys? This is Taylor bringing you the midweek update here for Wednesday, March 30th. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a good week here so far. And as always, we appreciate y'all being subscribers and tuning in. So we'll jump in here, guys. I want to start off by taking a look at GLD, which is the gold ETF. And uh, last week we picked up some May expiration put credit spreads with the idea that over the next month to two months here, gold could be trading towards 200. So big old nasty, nasty monthly squeeze here. Now keep in mind, the monthly squeeze can take, uh, it, it can take its sweet ass time to unfold. But man, once these things fire, it, it's going to be some of your bigger trends. So you got the monthly squeeze shaping up here. And I think you want to be comfortable being a little bit early. If you look at the histogram here, we're not bullish just yet. But you got a few yellow bars here, which basically means momentum slowly but surely is starting to turn the corner. So anytime we're in a monthly squeeze above the monthly 21, and then the histogram starts to shift, it's not a promise or a guarantee. It's just a suggestion that over the next handful of months here, this bad boy might be teeing up for a pretty big move. So we like the monthly chart. You've got a, uh, a weekly squeeze here firing long. And then you get that dip back here into really good structure. Uh, we're back at the daily 21. We've got buy signals. we got weekly and daily stack DMAs. So that's trend and structure. It's bullish. Green 10x bars on the weekly and the daily. So there's your momentum. So trend, structure, momentum, buy signals, squeezes, everything that I love here. So I think gold looks really good. Um, and we're not going to look to trade, you know, the gold miners or, or really anything other than GLD. But in terms of the scan results, um, there's Franco Nevada, which I do believe is a, is a gold stock. It all kind of checks out here. Um, very nice daily squeeze. Whole bunch of buy signals. So you got FNV. You've got uh, another gold ETF in GDX. Then there's like the random stuff. Um, there's AU. There's GFI. Again, I'm not going to look to trade them. Um, and quite frankly, I, I haven't really heard of most of these. However, we got buy signals. We got squeezes. We got stack DMAs. It's all very, very bullish. So... As long as things hold up here, we're going to work the idea that into May, uh, into May, June, July, we could see gold at higher prices here. So we got some GLD for May expiration. Next up here, guys, is energy, which I don't think we have to spend too much time discussing because we pretty much covered this trend over the last, you know, month or so in every video. But energy is looking really solid here. So personally, I still think it's your best looking trend right now. We've got a fresh daily squeeze. There is nothing quite like the smell of a fresh daily squeeze with some buy signals and a whole bunch of green lights over here. So, I mean, take your pick. Um, and into Friday, we're probably going to look to get positioned, assuming it all holds up here, in a few of these energy plays. So you could look at EOG, which is, uh, is still all good trend and structure here. You've got Chevron. You've got Exxon Mobil. You could get a little bit of Devon. There is Fang. Uh, I mean, pretty much here. They're all very similar. They're in uptrends. They're in squeezes. They got buy signals. We're looking for higher prices in energy. So gold, energy, and then a few more names here, guys. Um, I really like LMT. And this has been setting up for about a week or so here. Um, we haven't taken any action just yet. But take note of the histogram starting to turn. Right? You get that first yellow bar on the histogram. It's your first potential heads up here that it might be ready to uh, reload here with some fresh momentum, which typically is going to give you the next solid push. So I like the daily squeeze. You've got the green lights, got the buy signals. No trade here just yet. But if that can hold up into tomorrow, into Friday, um, we're probably going to take a shot here. Looking for a push into about 480. So along with energy and gold, going to keep a close eye here on LMT. Uh, next up, guys, is MO Altria. And for those of you in my mastery, we got a, uh, a call debit spread open at the moment. And then for those of you all in the options room, this was uh, this was so nice that we hit it twice last week. 
picked up some calls back here at 21. We flipped them on out on the pop, bought them again on the dip, and we tossed those aside for a nice little profit ahead of the weekend. But I still think a good structure here. So if Altria can continue to uh, to hold up, we're looking for a push into about 54 and a half here, using uh, using two ATR as a target. One more here for you guys on tonight's uh, scan results is Kroger. Little bit the Kroga. Good structure. Brand new daily squeeze. Weekly daily stack DMAs. Green 10x bars. So trend. Structure. Momentum. It's all very bullish. Throw into the mix a daily 4 hour, 2 hour, 60 minute, 30 minute, 15 minute squeeze. Is it the most exciting name in the market? No. Is that a much better looking setup than a lot of the market right now? You bet it is. You bet it is. So, that is what I got for y'all here tonight. Um, and for those of you in my mastery, I'm going to update the watch list to the room drive here in a bit. Uh, there's a lot more where this came from. But to keep it simple, guys, your S&Ps, your Teslas, even if you think the bottom is in, and uh, at this point I'm pretty open-minded to the idea that maybe, just maybe, the bottom is in, I'm not going to take an entry up here at 2 ATR, 3 ATR. So I have no choice other than to sit back and wait for a flush here on the overall market, uh, the big tech stuff, some of the semiconductor stocks. But in the meantime, I think we got a beautiful trend in energy uh, that we can continue to work with. I think gold has some promise here over the next two to three months. And then you've got you know, your Altrias, your, your LMTs, and a little bit of Kroger. So if you guys like these kinds of setups, um, you know, check out the website, check out the mastery. We got a fresh watch list in here, and really our focus moving forward is trading nothing but these kinds of setups. While we wait for, you know, the Googles, the Amazons, the Apples to come on back down to earth just a little bit. So I hope you all find this helpful. Um, now do me a favor. Down in the comments, let me know what you have on your watch list. Right? Let me know if I'm missing something. If you've got something in a good trend, you got good structure. Let a pal know down here in the comments. But until next time, guys, uh, that is all I got for tonight. Going to go hang out with the fiancé here. Um, but let's see. I will be live on Friday morning for pre-market prep. Uh, filling in for Chandler. So we'll be live on Friday morning. And then here's what I'm going to do this weekend. I'm going to make uh, I'm gonna make the Sunday watch this video a little bit longer than usual. Going to kind of take y'all through my full process here in terms of how do I build the watch list and really how do I narrow down the plate of opportunity? How do I distinguish between a great setup and a, a good setup and a, a decent setup? But until then, guys, be good, trade safe, finish strong this week, and I'll talk to y'all soon.